take you live now to Calgary. The federal health minister is making an announcement this morning alongside Alberta's health minister. Here's Minister Holland. It's fundamentally an issue of prevention. We know that uh, cardiovascular disease or uh, diabetes are heavily impacted by oral health. Uh, and we know that somebody's ability to go in and get that job or to have the courage to go and uh, take a chance uh, in their life on, uh, on a new business or a new relationship is very much dependent upon the confidence they have in their smile. So that's going to be fundamentally transformative. So focusing on prevention, focusing on access to family health, uh, to make sure that people have a relationship with a doctor, uh, making sure that also uh, we work together on data. You know, Minister Lagrange and I in uh, PEI had an extremely constructive meeting with our uh, counterparts across the country, talking about <clears throat> how we can work together to share data. We know the data saves lives. Uh, so bringing down those barriers and focusing on cooperation is absolutely essential. Ça, c'est la raison pour laquelle aujourd'hui est tellement important. This is important. the reason why today's Le announcement is so Canada important. The de, government of Canada milliard, uh, milliard will be investing nearly $200 billion uh, over 10 years on a plan pour les to work together to improve health care for Canadians. Et clair pour les, les, uh, it's clear that the expectations with the provinces and territories will improve our health care system in a significant way. Including rural and remote areas. It will support health care workers and reduce backlogs. It will increase mental health and substance use support. It will modernize health care systems with health data and digital tools. Today, Minister Lagrange and I will be signing a bilateral agreement under this plan. A plan that sees uh, $25 billion to province and territories for tailored bilateral agreements in addressing the unique needs of people in each province and territory. It's part of that $200 billion I was speaking of. This agreement will see more than $1 billion flow from the federal government to Alberta over the next three years. It's a critical investment and part of a 10-year plan for collaboration. As part of this agreement, Alberta's action plan to deliver measurable improvements to the health care system by 2026 is outlined. With this plan, more appointments will be available to Albertans throughout the province. It will increase diagnostic imaging capacity in the provinces. It will reduce wait times for CT scans and MRIs. It will improve Alberta's ability, Albertans' ability to access digital health care services and their own health information. Under this plan, First Nation and Métis in the province will have access to high-quality, culturally appropriate care through dedicated funding for supports and initiatives. Finally, this agreement will enhance support for individuals with mental health challenges and people who use substances. It will also reduce median wait times for community mental health and substance use services. This includes uh, nearly 100 new mental health programs for youth in schools across the province offering more supports for youth with complex needs as they transition to adult services, reducing the median wait time for community mental health and substance use services by establishing new treatment and optimizing existing ones, prioritizing culturally appropriate Indigenous community supports. Uh, this is certainly proof that our governments are working together for the better health care Canadians and specifically Albertans need when they need it. It's evidence that working together creates results. Today, by signing this agreement, we're making a concrete difference in the health and well-being of Albertans all across the province. And with that, it's my great pleasure to uh, turn it over to Adriana Lagrange, uh, the Ministre de la Santé pour uh, la province de l'Alberta. The Mineral Minister of Health for the province of Alberta. Thank you, Minister Holland. And uh, you're absolutely right. Access to health care is top of mind for all Albertans. And Alberta's government is taking a serious look at the way health care is delivered in our province. This is why our government is refocusing our health care system to ensure Albertans have access to timely care when and where they need it. This agreement and initial funding will provide incremental funding, approximately $1.1 billion dollars in additional health care funding to support health and mental health priorities over the next three years. It will be used to support actions and initiatives outlined in Alberta's action plan under the agreement. 
These actions fall under the four shared health priorities, which are expanding access to family health services, including in rural and remote areas, supporting our health workers and reducing backlogs, improving access to quality mental health substance use, or sorry, mental health and substance use and addiction services, and also modernizing health systems within, with health data and digital tools. I sincerely want to thank Minister Holland and the federal government for working with us to reach this agreement. You've been great to work with, Mark, um, and your team. As this is, as is the case in every other province, we know the healthcare system in Alberta is under strain and change is needed. Our goal is to improve the delivery of healthcare for all Albertans and for our frontline workers who work so hard each and every day to serve our, their patients. Albertans want and deserve easier access to a primary care provider, such as a doctor or a nurse practitioner. They also want urgent care without long wait lines, access to the best continuing care options and supports, and improved access to mental health and addiction treatment services. Built on the exceptional skills and work of health care providers, Alberta is reforming its health care system by strengthening governance, building capacity, and enhancing the delivery coordination for the four pillars of our health system, which are primary care, acute care, continuing care, and mental health and addictions. We are making significant and targeted investments to improve capacity and the delivery of health care in our province, and addressing the challenges we know are putting strain on our valued health care workers. With the largest budget for health spending in our province's history, it's $26.4 billion right now. We are investing an additional $262 million of the new funding to strengthen our primary care system. An additional $104 million is committed to Alberta's health workforce strategy that sets out a framework for supporting the province's current health workers and building up this workforce so that it can support Albertans and ensure they get the health care they need when and where they need it. A healthy, sustainable, engaged, and efficient health work, healthcare workforce is essential to ensuring timely access to health care now and into the future. Alberta is also working, or pardon me, <clears throat> Alberta is also looking at funding models that will better support family doctors so that they can spend more time with their patients rather than spending their time on administrative tasks. In addition to continuing to support family physicians, Alberta will also be one of the first provinces to allow nurse practitioners to operate their own clinics based on their scope of practice, thus expanding our workforce even farther. <clears throat> Another key area the new federal government funding will support is improving access to quality mental health and addiction treatment services for Albertans. Minister Williams could not be here today, but I do want to take this opportunity to share a bit about uh, how this agreement will help and support the work his ministry is doing around mental health and addiction. Alberta is committed to supporting the mental health and well-being of all Albertans and has made significant investments as we build out the Alberta recovery model. Specifically, the new model and the new funding will be used to maintain the enhancements previously supported in the bilateral agreement of 2017. So this includes enhanced mental health and addiction community-based services, crisis support, outreach services, and adding intensive care options. There will be a continued focus on enhancing mental health and addiction services for children and youth by implementing more school-based supports in high-priority communities, as well as providing more access to clinical mental health and addiction services through community day programs and residential treatment options. Increasing access to mental health and addiction supports for adults to reduce wait times will also be a priority for the new funding. Some of this new funding from the federal government will also contribute to ongoing improvements to data infrastructure and sharing, so healthcare teams can securely work together to optimize patient care. <clears throat> Integrating primary health care services through data is particularly important for those living in rural and remote parts of the province. The funding announced today will help us address some of the challenges we are experiencing around health care in our province. However, we remain hopeful that a meaningful and permanent increase to the Canada health transfer will happen. 
there are significant issues facing the delivery of health care, not just in Alberta, but right across the country. With more sustainable, predictable funding, we can optimize the opportunities for health care improvement unique to our residents and make progress on longer term public health goals. And I'm confident working with uh, Minister Holland that we can achieve that end. So again, thank you so much. And off we go.